Good afternoon. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the notification bell. And do I have a very special video for you. So if you are a Bitcoin miner and you got the Canon Avalon Q and you got the new version with the fabric filter that's non-removable, I'm going to show you how to clean it. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, first thing you want to do is go into your Avalon family app and check the percentage of when your filter is. Anything over 50%, you should be changing your filter. And now you're ready to power off your Canon Avalon Q and then unplug it from the wall outlet. What you want to do is remove your Wi-Fi receiver. Put this aside or unplug your Ethernet LAN if it's directly connected, remove it. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take our hand right here and we're going to pop this right off. It's a little bit hard to come off, but you'll see that it will come off with a little bit of pressure. And this is the back of the filter. And you can, as you can see right here, all the dust build up. This is the inside of the machine here. So what you wanna do is lay this right over here, right beside, because this is what we're gonna be cleaning. Not this. Well, we could use the brush to just brush this a little bit, but the main thing we're going to be focusing on is this thing right here. There are two different versions of the Canon Avalon Q. The old version has an actual removable filter, which is washable, but the latest Canon Avalon 2 has uses this fabric filter that which is non-removable so you're not going to want to get water in this i repeat do not wash this fabric filter okay so let's move along and let's get this going So what I'm going to start off first is I'm going to start off with this detail brush right here and we're going to brush off all this, all this dust. Right. Then after we brush it off, we're going to blow it off with the um, turbo fan. If you have your Canon Avalon Q in a very dusty environment, you're going to want to do this one or two weeks instead of following the app. In the app, it'll give you a very conservative estimate of when you should replace your filter. I would recommend replacing your filter anywhere from above 50%. And you can see that by logging into your Avalon Q and going to settings, you can check your filter. And so use this right here to dust it off. You want to get all the dust off of your filter. Make sure it's clean. And there you have it, it's very, very clean. So what I'm gonna do is move on next to my cabin. My Canon Avalon is gonna brush off all the dust particles on the actual machine. It's 
not really important, but you can do it, might as well. Keep your machine well maintained. The better you maintain your machine, the better it'll last for you. Okay, so we pretty much got all the dust off. I'm gonna wipe off my machine. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step, which actually is using either the compressed air or the blowers. And let's set this up right here. I'm actually gonna do a separate video on this thing. Just got it. Bought it for off of Timu. They sell this on Amazon and I bought it for uh, about 10 bucks, depending on where you live. So this right here has um, a few different settings. So let's turn it on. It's very powerful. So what you're gonna wanna do is use this to clean out all the dust and I can tell you that I can see the actual dust particles flying out. All right, that's good enough. Let's do some of this machine here. Turn that off. Go to the front here and look look at that dust. Look at that dust build up right there, as you can see. So that's what you want to get off. And you can actually see a lot of dust build up. So I'll, I'm gonna have to vacuum this also. Well, I'll try and blow it off first. And if I can't, I'll use a vacuum. What I'm actually going to get right now is going to use a combination of both. Make sure to be gentle.
There you have it. So by using a combination of the compressed air or this blower and gently brushing this brush, there you have it. You have a nice clean filter. Now for the reattachment, what you're gonna wanna do is just easily bring this back here and reattach it. You'll hear a clip. And that's how you'll know that it's 100%. Put your wireless receiver back on. Now you can plug your uh, Canon Avalon Q back in and it's ready for mining. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And remember to, if you live in a dusty climate, you wanna do this every one to two weeks. If you own a miner, the better you maintain it, the less you'll have to, um, the less downtime. So it's better to have, maintenance is sometimes the best cure for problems. Make sure you maintain. All right, so take care, have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. And remember, the very, very last step is to log back into your Canon Avalon family app and reset your filter um, you're gonna want to do that because um, you want to keep track how often you should be resetting your filter remember 